So for our problem number 4, meron na tayong voltage divider bias dito. Okay, this is 24 volts. And we are looking for VGS, ID, drain current, and drain to source voltage. Now, ang gagawin natin, okay, nasa voltage divider na naman tayo, so, magta-Tebnin's theorem tayo dito. So, itra-transform natin itong circuit natin sa ganito. Okay, so, ayan, may Tebnin voltage and may Tebnin resistance, okay, and transform natin yung voltage divider network. And to get VTH, VTH is equal to VDD times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. And that is equal to 24 times R2 na 270 kilo ohms divided by 2.1 mega ohms plus 270 kilo ohms. And that is equal to 2.734 volts. Now, the question here, kukuhanin pa ba natin yung RTH? Sa tingin ko, hindi na. Kasi, kapag mag-loop tayo dito, okay, from VTH to VGS at down to the ground, di ba nga yung current na dumadalay dito is zero then? So, therefore, walang kwenta si RTH. Okay, so, kukuha natin, tawagin natin siyang loop number one, so, from equation number 1, makuha natin, VTH minus IGRTH minus VGS minus ISRS is equal, okay, sorry, hindi pala kita. Okay, so VTH minus IGRTH minus VGS minus ISRS is equal to 0. And, di ba nga, walang kwenta to. Magiging zero lang din naman kasi. So, kung transpose natin si IS or uh, si ISRS sa kabila, magiging VTH minus VGS is equal to IS times RS. And we know that IS is equal to ID. So, if we divide natin both sides of the equation by RS and papalitan natin si IS ng ID, so magiging ID or the drain current is equal to VTH minus VGS divided by RS. Substituting the values, makukuha natin. Okay, magiging 2.734 minus VGS divided by RS which is 1.5 kilo ohms. So, nakuha na natin yung equation 1. And to get equation 2, okay, the second equation, gagamitin natin yung transfer formula. So, ID is equal to IDSS. And by the way, as you can notice, okay, D MOSFET yung ginamit natin, okay, pero N channel pa rin ito. Dahil nga sabi ko, same lang naman yung JFET and yung DMOSFET ng mga equation. So, ID is equal to IDSS times 1 minus VGS over VGS of or the pinch of voltage quantity squared. So, substitute natin. ID is equal to 8 milliamperes times 1 minus VGS divided by negative 4 quantity squared. So, meron na tayong two equations, two unknowns. Equation 1, equation 2, and ang unknown natin dito is ID and VGS. Kagaya kanina, isa substitute natin yung value ng ID dito sa, sa ID dito. So, ang mangyayari, 8 milliamperes times 1 minus VGS over, since negative-negative pala yan, so plus na, over 4, 
quantity squared is equal to 2.734 minus VGS divided by 1.5 kilo ohms. At dahil quadratic equations na naman ito, okay, dahil may squared si VGS, therefore magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang Okay, dalawang value ang lalabas dito. VGS1 and VGS2. And by manipulating the equation, so, makuha natin ang value ng VGS. Eh. Okay, ang nakuha ang values, una is negative 7.736 volts, and yung pangalawa is negative 1.597 volts. Now, alin kaya dito sa dalawa? Our pinch of voltage or the VGS off is negative 4. At dahil dyan, hindi pwedeng lumagpas dyan ang VGS natin. So, ang VGS natin is negative 1.597. Okay, and mali itong unang value. So, our VGS is equal to negative 1.597 volts. Para makuha natin yung ID, Pwede na natin gamitin itong equation na to. So, ID, where the drain current is equal to 8 milliamperes times the quantity of 1 minus negative 1.597 over negative 4 quantity squared. Down. The value of the drain current is equal to 2.887 milliamperes. That is the value of our drain current. And to solve for VDS, okay, maglulupulit tayo from the source voltage down to the ground. Okay, so magkuha natin. Loop number 2. Equation number 2, that is VDD minus IDRD minus VDS minus ISRS is equal to 0. And transpose natin si VDS, makukuha natin, the drain to source voltage is equal to, diretso substitution niya, 24 minus value of ID, which is 2.887 milliamperes times RD, which is 2.4 kilo ohms, minus IS, ang IS, or the source current, is equal to the drain current then, so 2.887 milliamperes times RS na 1.5 kilo ohms. That is equal to 12.7407 volts. That is our final answer. Okay, so ang pinagkaiba lang nito sa self-bias, okay, may nadagdag na VTH. Okay, so may nadagdag na VTH dito sa equation natin. So, our final answers, okay, meron pa rin two equations, two unknowns, and after ng two equations, two unknowns, meron tayong quadratic equation. Dahil quadratic equation, dalawa ang lumabas. And, makita natin na tamang sagot is negative 1.597 sa BGS, and so, 2.887 milliampere sa ID, and 12.7407 volts sa BDS.